What's good? This is your man, Herbert Kane, and we in Davos, World Economic Forum, and this is the president of Argentina. Many, it may sound ridiculous to suggest that the West has turned to socialism, but it's only ridiculous if you only limit yourself to the traditional economic definition of socialism, which says that it's an economic system where the state owns the means of production. This definition in my view, should be updated in the light of current circumstances. Today, states don't need to directly control the means of production to control every aspect of the lives of individuals. With tools such as printing money, debt, subsidies, controlling the interest rate, price controls, and regulations to correct the so-called market failures, they can control the lives and fates of millions of individuals. This is how we come to the point where, by using different names or guises, a good deal of the generally accepted political offers in most Western countries are collective experience, whether they proclaim to be openly a communist fascists, Nazis, socialists, social democrats, uh, national socialists, democrat Christians, the Christian Democrats, ne neo Keynesians, uh, progressive, populist, nationalists, or globalists. At bottom, there are no major differences. They all say that the state should steer all aspects of the lives of individuals. They all defend a model contrary to that one which led humanity to the most spectacular progress in its history. We have come here today to invite the rest of the countries in the Western world to get back on the path of prosperity, economic freedom, uh, limited government, uh, government and um, unlimited respect for private property are uh, essential elements uh, for economic growth and the impoverishment produced by collectivism is no fantasy nor is it an inescapable fate but it's a reality that we argentines know very well we have lived through this we have been through this because as i said earlier ever since we decided to abandon the model of freedom that had made us rich we have been caught up in a downward spiral as part of which we are poorer and poorer day by day so this is something we have lived through and we are here to warn you about what can happen if the countries in the Western world that became rich through the model of freedom stay on this path of servitude. The case of Argentina is an empirical demonstration that no matter how rich you may be or how much you may have in terms of natural resources or how skilled your population may be or, or educated or how many bars of gold you may have in the central bank. If measures are adopted that hinder the free function of markets, free competition, free price systems, if you uh, hinder trade, if you attack private property, the only possible fate is poverty. Therefore, in concluding, I would like to leave a message for all business people here and for those who are not here in person but are following from around the world. Do not be intimidated, intimidated either by the political class or by parasites who live off the state. Do not surrender to a political class that only wants to stay in power and retain its privileges. You are social benefactors, you're heroes, you're the creators of the most extraordinary period of prosperity we've ever seen. Let no one tell you that your ambition is immoral. If you make money, it's because you offer a better product at a better price, thereby contributing to general well-being. Do not surrender to the advance of the state. The state is not the solution. The state is the problem itself. You are the true protagonists of this story. And rest assured that as from today, Argentina is your staunch, unconditional ally. Thank you very much, and long live freedom. Damn it. Well, he ain't gonna be invited back to the WEF next year. <laughs>